Hey everybody, this is Nick from Arcade Hunters, welcoming you to the first video of my Disney walkthrough review series. This is actually the second video that I took there because I got my uh, info wrong about the arcade cards. You'll hear about that in this video. Um, this is the both the Sideshow Arcade and the Yard Arcade at the Boardwalk in Disney World. Now the Boardwalk is cool because it does have, it says, two arcades. They are pretty small, but you know... You know, at the I say when they, I'll use a lot of terms where I say they cut it in half or they've halved it because the ESPN Club kind of like had more merchandise that took over more of the arcade games. They used to have a couple of rows of like fighting games. I they used to have Fighting Vipers there. I've never seen that game. They also had um, if you guys are fans of uh, Chris Bucci's Pinball Review Series, first place I ever played Safe Cracker there. It didn't really work that good. And, you know, mostly all the sports games since you are in the ESPN Club. And everything I said about the ESPN Club is a great place. It's really kind of like the old ESPN zones that they used to have around. I knew they used to have one in New York City that was a combination arcade, kind of like a Disney Quest, and kind of like uh, all those other, uh, you know, Jillian's and Dave and & Buster's and stuff like that. And the other arcade, the Sideshow one, is downstairs near the Health Club and over by the Luna Park Pool. So, here you go, two for one special for you. This is the Sideshow and the Yard Arcade from Boardwalk in Disney World. So, Nick from Arcade Hunters, thank you for watching. Hey everybody, this is Nick from Arcade-Hunters.com checking in take two here at Boardwalk Hotel in uh, wonderful Disney World here in Orlando, Florida. This is the Luna Park pool that they have that is a setback of all the great boardwalk resorts that they used to have in New York and New Jersey back in the uh, 1900s. So, got the muscles and bristles, and up here is the Sideshow Arcade. I'm going to apologize when I get in. It is very loud. So let's go in. Take a look. We've got Family Bowl 2, the sports arena. Uh, normal Fast and the Furious. Have Sega's Hummer Extreme Edition. Yeah, that. Uh, one of these Jet Riders. We have uh, Plush Factory Crane. We got a whistle game thing where you stop it and you get a you get a prize, you get a coin. You got the stacker. Of course, everybody. Someone said, oh, I haven't seen any ones with stacker. Everybody's got stacker. Winner's Cube. I have to go through this quick because this grid is very, very loud. You're going to hear it in a couple minutes. Hopefully someone will turn down the volume. It's been very loud. We got uh, Defender 1 and 2, and it looks like someone had a problem with it and punched it. That's nice. I know this game was very hard. This is really cool. This is a little uh, bowling game that they've got. Let's go over here. This is a brand new Pac-Man arcade party. It's got a bunch of different games that you can play on it, like Rolling Thunder, it'll actually close the screen off. They've got Mappy, Rally X, and Dig Dug. Fast and the Furious Superbikes, uh, a couple of them also have two. So, uh, Fast and the Furious Superbikes, too. They also have super cars. There's a little hoops for the kids. We have Line Drive, uh, Pitch and Bat from the Ice Company. And we've got the Ultracade Feeding Frenzy. And pretty much every arcade here in Disney is now complete without one or two Guitar Hero arcades from Raw Thrills and Konami. If you can't beat them, join them. And um, I'm probably going to say this again in the other video that I take at uh, Contemporary, which I, you know, I'm doing these out of order. These are arcade cards that they've been using, and you can see they give you uh, more points for more uh, things that you put in, kind of like Dave & Buster's. But unlike Dave & Buster's, these cards are all universal. So all these cards, uh, as long as you go to a Disney hotel, they will work, and you just pretty much you scan the card, you put your credit card in there, and you put some money in, and it'll give you your points, and you can spend it in any of the games you just uh, read the magnetic card reader and you're good to go so this is one of the two arcades here in the boardwalk resort uh, the other one is at the ESPN club that's probably going to be a little more crowded so let's take a look at that one right now so come along with me and we're going to check out the ESPN club ok 
Okay kids, Nick from Arcade Hunters, we're here at the Art Arcade and Boardwalk. This is the second of the two arcades. It says they're open at 11.30, but it's 11.37, so you can get in. As I've said, like, these are halved, so it's a lot of... I got a stacker, a Guitar Hero, Fast and the Fear, Super Bikes, two NASCARs, a photo thing, two Need for Speed Carbons, Fast and the Furious, Blazing Angels, NASCAR, Fast and the Furious Drift, all the new um, games from the Golden Key folks, uh, an Afterburner Climax over there, Crazy Taxi High Roller. Shoutouts to Moomart. I think it's Moomart that owns one of these. He's got the uh, he's got the kit that he can put the other Chihiro games in. A winner's Cube and some street hoops. I'm gonna give that at the Runner Climax a try if that uh, little girl uh, goes like. We got some of the cool stuff like stuff signed by the Water Water Marlins, guys from the Angels and stuff like that. It's a cool little uh, club. This actually has, if you come here, the ESPN club, they have colored TVs in the bathroom. So when you go in there to uh, do your business, they have sports on 24-7 here at the ESPN club or so whenever they close. So here closing out with Global VRs, Need for Speed Carbon, and the other guys from Raw Thrills. More from Need for Speed, uh, Double Drift. So thanks for watching.